This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2022. Severe open tibial shaft fractures are difficult to treat and are associated with a high incidence of infection and other serious complications. Historically, the standard treatment has been to treat the fracture with intramedullary nails or plate fixation depending on fracture location. Although surgeons commonly use these devices, it is thought that the metal placed at the open fracture site might increase the incidence of infection due to the propensity of bacteria to form biofilm on the metal. Modern external ring fixation eliminates the need to place a metal implant at the open fracture site. Thus, it is believed that its use may reduce infections and readmissions for other complications. To investigate this theory, researchers conducted a randomized clinical trial comparing the one-year probability of a major limb complication after treating severe open tibial shaft fractures with modern external ring fixation versus internal fixation. The trial, which was conducted at 20 trauma centers in the United States, included 260 patients aged 18 to 64 years old. Of these, 127 were randomly allocated to modern external ring fixation and 133 to internal fixation of either nails or plates. Contrary to their expectations, the researchers discovered that external fixation had a higher risk of at least one significant limb complication than internal fixation, 62% versus 44%, with a p-value of 0.001. The primary difference was in the loss of reduction or implant failure, with a risk difference of 14%. The most surprising finding was that there was no difference in the rate of deep surgical site infection between treatment arms. There were also no evident differences in the probabilities of amputation, non-union, soft tissue issues, malunion, or fracture healing. Despite the theoretical arguments in favor of modern external ring fixation in reducing infection and other complications, this study provides strong evidence against the routine use of this technology for these severe open tibia fractures.